What is going on, everybody? It's Nick, also known as Born Gamer, bringing you another Assassin's Creed video in the ABCs of ACR, and I believe this is episode 7, and is my most important tip I can give any of you, especially those of you that have been following the last 6 episodes and are now the most elite Assassin's Creed, uh, maybe I'll just say Deathmatch player, because I don't play Assassinate. Those Assassinate people are a uh, whole different breed of Assassin's Creed, I don't really... Not a breed I believe in, but uh, we'll we'll save that for another video. And uh, thanks for punching my ovaries there. That was really really great of you. Uh, yeah, this is how to win when you are ahead in the game. Now, being ahead in Assassin's Creed is unlike any other game because once you start doing good, Ubisoft said, you know what, you know what this guy needs more of, other than you know pursuers. Uh, he needs a lot more stupid players after them, so a lot of time when you're in first, uh, you're not getting hunted down by the second place guy. I mean, there's a lot, there, that happens a good amount of time, but not all the time. You're getting hunted down by that guy in seventh place and eighth place who likes to run around with his hidden gun and throw it, just sprinting across the map and hiding in hay bales. Like, it's <laughs> conveniently timed right there. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're getting hunted down by the idiots, so you gotta be on the top of your game. And uh, this is just a couple little hints as to how you can recognize situations and make sure that you are not getting punched in the face with knives. I stole that from Shenmue. I give him complete credit for that. If I'm right, I think he said that on this very map. Man, I have a weird, weird YouTube memory. How bizarre. Uh, <laughs> um, just before I get going here, I wanted to um, thank everybody who's been watching my videos. I did just reach the 20,000 view milestone, which is pretty freaking awesome. And I'm just short of 160 subs, so I mean, that's, that's pretty good. I mean, I've only been doing this for about three months, and the fact that I'm doing this during the peak days of summer when YouTube gaming stuff is just kind of I'm gonna say it's at a low because everybody's played these games and nobody really needs these tips and tricks as much but for those of you that are sticking around I appreciate it thanks for watching my videos thanks for listening to me ramble and uh this is my little medication for the day and so is stabbing the thespian here you go I don't know how that happened I am still very confused how there was two of her in that same one group whatever not my fault. <laughs> Thank you, Assassin's Creed. I'm looking forward to Assassin's Creed 3 for that one. Um, yeah, I'm uh, I'm just waiting for me in the game here to jump in the first place, as I like to do. Maybe it'll happen here, or maybe I'll get a contested kill. But it did leap me in the first place, so let the pursuers come right about now. I have one, and I'm shaking my head saying, Oh, man, I can't believe I'm in first place. This is so good right about now. And right about now, <laughs> uh, I have two pursuers on me, and all I can hear is some crazy whispers, smoke bomb dropping, there's a courtesan that needs to be stabbed, but I am about to get shot in the head by Mr. or Mrs. Where? What? What? Where? Who? Is, where did his name go? Alright, I'm just gonna, you know, chalk that up to a nice little Assassin's Creed Revelations online moment. Uh, <laughs> So, I need to uh, uh, solidify my lead a little bit here, so what do I do? Stalk around till I get my incognito, and drop a little poison on that thespian, who eluded me so badly before, but not this time. Uh, <laughs> and the first honorable death, I'm loving it, I am absolutely loving it. But, if you'll notice, I am in first place still. So, my very first tip I can give you is... When you know somebody's after you and you are short on abilities, like I was right there, I don't believe I had my smoke bomb. If I was, I'm sorry, I'm mistaken. Um, take away as many points as possible from those that are trying to kill you. Because more often than not, early in the game, if someone kills you for a decent amount of points, they may be the one to take the lead from you. So you're going to want to force them to get as low of point kills as possible. And... The easiest way to explain that is force them into an honorable death or, you know, contested kill just by charging at them using the B button. But another way you can do this is if you have an impatient player, you can kind of run away. And if they start sprinting after you, it'll let their detection meter go down. So they may have been stalking you with an incognito, but if you have no target and you're sure that sprinting across the map is only going to force them to chase after you, so maybe by chance your abilities are going to um, reset and you can smoke bomb them or whatever you need and get the stun, 
or possibly make them chase after you so that it lowers their meter and maybe they only end up with a discrete kill and it's only you know 200 300 points uh, depending on various bonuses that is probably the best thing you can do so it's not as much about you getting a ton of points and saying alright like I need to get this lead look okay, I just got a contested kill I'm still in first so I can tell it's a very close kill uh, not close kill close game there um, yeah you just you want to make sure that Oh, I understand that. You want to make sure that they are not getting as many points because for every point they don't get, you have to get that much less. It's almost like a penny saved is a penny earned um, in a very distorted video game reference. Uh, <laughs> so instead of you saying, all right, I'm in first place now, I need to get a hidden, focus, silent, revenge, savior assist kill that's worth you know 1700 points just so I don't lose this lead you can say alright let me try and focus on getting good quality silent kills add up to my streak meter and as soon as I know there's a pursuer around me you can charge him if you're not on a streak and you're not worried about that so that way especially if you recognize that they might be in second or third place and you know the score is very close they're only getting 200 point kills and especially if you can have them getting the streak discrete kills um, a lot of people like myself run silent kill streaks those discrete kills are not going to add to their streaks therefore they're not going to be getting as many points so it's kind of like I'm not going to call it a game of chess but it's almost complicated enough to the point where you have to be thinking two three steps ahead of yourself and ahead of other players because I know when I play I'll go alright I'm not going to walk directly at this person I'm going to kind of give it a uh, a little walk around, take a little beeline to them so that maybe I, I build up to my silent. And if you notice when I do my focus poisons, I a lot of times I get my kill streaks during that time, if that makes any sense. So instead of getting my discreet kill, maybe I'll run up to them, poison them, I'll stand next to them, and then I'll get my silent, and then I'll get my streak from it. So instead of getting that, you know, 450 point poison, I end up with a thousand points because I got a incognito focus poison plus my kill streak so you kind of have to plan ahead of time and especially when you know that they're being dumb and running at you see this guy if you notice I keep getting uh, contested kills and honorable deaths on him and it's starting to take his toll on him so another strategy that you can do is by simply outplaying the other player you can make them rage quit and I think in a couple minutes here or couple seconds I should say this guy does finally up yeah, there he goes he finally left the game and I credit that to my not letting him get any high point kills not letting him get any kill streaks so he may have left and it may have been a closer game in the end if he had stayed in but I believe that with the way I was playing this game I would have eventually won it and especially because he got frustrated enough to the fact that he left the game uh, that's about as legitimate of a strategy as you can get like Nobody would argue anything like that in Call of Duty if you make the other team rage quit your plane so well, you know? And then, what is this guy? What is your name? I want, I hate you. Invading space? I can't see it. It's too too blurry on my screen right now. Or maybe it's my eyeballs. Who knows? But second hidden gun kill. Like, I, I don't, I don't understand it. <laughs> he finds the one roof that nobody goes up to and he uh, sits up there and uh, Hitman snipers me. But no big deal. Not, not. <laughs> <laughs> not too worried about it. I can't I can't stand in. How did I miss that? Did you Oh wow. I can't believe I missed that. Little B button popped up over his head. But you know, 250 point kill, not too worried about that, because he's never ever gonna catch me at this rate. Um <clears throat> so just to summarize, when you are in first place, you want to protect it by being both conservative in how you're going out in the middle of the map and leaving yourself vulnerable because the more time you give your pursuer to stun you or uh, not stun you the more time you get them to follow you and plan their kill the more points they're going to get so by forcing the situation and keeping everything in your hands like for me right here I thought I would have gotten that hidden yeah okay just I don't know why I didn't turn my camera there but I did get the little incognito and I got a couple little bonuses there so 500 points can't hurt me in the end always always know the situation make sure that your pursuers can never get high point kills and you will enjoy many many matches of victory take it from me I win a lot 
I don't play a lot. <clears throat> I'm not like a level 15 prestige, but I do know how to play this game. So, thank you guys for watching. Once again, thanks for 20,000 views on my videos. That's awesome. Uh, stay tuned for a lot more Assassin's Creed videos. I'm actually planning on doing kind of like a little mini marathon in the next coming weeks. And, uh, gonna start bringing back a little bit of the COD and maybe some Minecraft here and there. That was actually kind of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If not, I'll throw some annotations in there right about now. Or, uh, it might be playing as we speak. So, until next time, guys.